when you take risks, you look at the information that you have to make your decision. And at the same time, you have your instinct. And if you're lucky enough to be able to rely a little bit on your gut feel, very rarely are you going to be wrong. I live by daring to try new things, daring to experiment, daring to be audacious. It has to be for a reason. There has to be an objective behind. But if you don't take risks, you don't, you don't advance in life. And I think that the sooner you make mistakes, the faster you learn. My whole career and, and my life is, is based on that. One of my mottos is fix it if it's not broken. Don't wait for it to be broken to fix it. When things are running smoothly, that's when you have to expect that there's going to be a storm around the corner. And if you don't anticipate, I think you're going to get caught by some surprises that could affect your brand. When you're looking at your competition, you're looking behind. You're not looking ahead. You're not thinking what you should be doing moving forward and how you want to continue to build your business. Your ability to instill that sense of constant discomfort is fundamental to success. It's fundamental. The more uncomfortable people are, the more they do extraordinary things. If it fails, what's the downside? Yes, I'm, I'm thinking big on this initiative. I think we can do extraordinary things by partnering with Toronto Fashion Week and become L'Oreal Fashion Week, but it's a property that, you know, that, that has risks as well. That's the sort of questioning you have to ask yourself and determine whether or not the benefits outweigh the downsides. I think you're missing out if you don't try and experiment. Every day is an eternel recommencement, as we say in French.